Hi friends, welcome back to my channel where today I'm doing this eyeshadow look using the Nomad Whistler Snow Lodge palette. And I'm gonna be catching you up a little bit on what's been going on in my life recently. I have been sick for several days, finally on the upswing, I had a baby shower, getting ready for baby number three to come along. There's just lots to talk about. So if you're interested in seeing any of that, don't go anywhere. And if you've never been here before, hello, my name is Rachel and I'm a homeschooling stay-at-home mom. I really enjoy playing with eyeshadow, colorful eyeshadow especially. And I upload multiple videos every week. They're all eyeshadow related with this baby Coming. I've been doing some pre-filming so there shouldn't be a very big gap but if you are interested in that sort of thing I hope that you'll consider liking and subscribing before you leave and hit the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. Now I might be looking a little bit rough today because like I said I've been sick I haven't paid any attention to my eyebrows or exfoliating or washing my face I've just been trying to stay alive <laughs> but anyway let's get going with this video. All right, guys, I am so excited to be doing this because I have been sick for days and I'm finally feeling about 80%. I'm excited to play with color. I'm excited to play with eyeshadow. I'm excited to make another video for you guys and just update you a bit on what's going on in life. And I'm excited to play with the Whistler Snow Lodge palette, which was a gift from a subscriber. This is Nomad. And I want to play in this column right here. And then I might pull in another shimmer. But I've already primed my eyes using the Glamlight Icing Primer. So let's zoom in and get going. Diving in to start off with a dense and medium blending brush, I'm going into the shade for Fox Sake. And I'm thinking now that I've already used this shadow in the other video that I did using this palette, but I don't even care. This is just what I wanna play with, so this is what I'm gonna play with. And honestly, I may have been wearing this shirt as well. You know what, when you're nine months pregnant, not too many shirts fit, so. You'll probably see a lot of videos of me wearing the same shirt <laughs> until baby arrives and I can put on my own clothes again. If you hear that strange noise in the background, that is my washing machine bumping against the wall. Again, I've been sick for several days. Today, the day that I'm filming this is January 24th, I think, and it's a Wednesday. I've been sick since Saturday night, and today is the first day that I'm feeling kind of myself or more myself. I don't know what I had. I think it was probably the flu, but there are so many things going around right now. It could have been almost anything, you know? It was unpleasant. It was very unpleasant and I was pretty much laid up on the couch for several days. I had about eight bites of food between Saturday night and this morning. But this morning I actually had breakfast. I had a few bites of scrambled egg and I had a piece of garlic toast, like toast buttered with fresh garlic because I'm just sick of these germs. I'm also, I gave some to my daughters because I don't want them to get sick either. My husband had a low grade fever last night so we're just hoping he doesn't get sick. But anyway, I don't know, it's just... Oh, by the way, he's home now. My husband came home on Saturday and then I got sick. So thank God that I got sick after he arrived back because I was taking care of our children for almost three weeks while he was out of state. And it was just really helpful to have him here when I was under the weather because I was useless. And our daughters, my oldest daughter is fine, but then the youngest one has been really sniffly and snotty, but she's, she's almost two. Could just be teething, I don't know. She hasn't had a fever. She has been a little bit tired. I don't know. Like I said, there are so many things going around. I'm just very, very grateful to be upright and able to keep food and water down. And at this point, at the time that I'm filming this, I am officially 36 weeks pregnant. So there are four weeks to go technically, although I suspect it's gonna be more like three. And I really did not wanna get dehydrated while this advanced in my pregnancy. So that was my biggest concern and just not losing all of my energy for when baby needs to come. But I think I have enough time between now and delivery that it probably wouldn't have been an issue, but you never know because things can linger. Unfortunately, nothing dropped into my lungs that would affect my breathing. I mean, I was winded and tired, but I wasn't coughing or having trouble breathing. And that was, that was good too. I'm going to get a blending brush and soften these edges a bit. Now I do want to deepen the outer corner with the black in the palette. The shadow is called Ski Out. And I'm putting that just in my outer, in my outer V. So my husband is back from his trip. He went, if you don't remember, he is in school. He's in seminary and he was out of state at the, um, at the campus for the school for most of January. He had a good trip. He, he had a lot of fun meeting classmates and professors in person because most of his work is done remotely. And what they did was they did a couple intensive courses during the winter session. There was the full semester's worth of lectures in just one week. And then some of the homework was due before class even began. 
Some of it was due during class, but not much. And then the rest of it is due over the next couple of weeks into the spring. And the spring semester has started. So now that he's home, he's finishing up the work for the intensives. And he's also beginning new classes. So this week he's starting Greek and philosophy. And he's been learning Hebrew independently on the side. So his Hebrew classes through school don't officially start, I think, for another semester or two. I don't remember when they start. But Greek starts this week. I'm trying to remember, people were saying about Greek and he Hebrew, one of them has a learning curve of straight up and then it levels off. And then the other one has a learning trajectory of where it's just a steep climb forever. <laughs> and I don't remember which one's which. Another thing that they did while they were at school for their intensives was they traveled to some local historic areas and learned about history of the church in that particular part of the country. And that was really interesting as well. He kept sending me pictures from that part of the country, which is kind of, I mean, it's several states below where we originally moved from, but it is in that general region of the country. And it's beautiful over there. And he was just sending me pictures of these old towns and churches and scenery and topography and going, oh, it's so pretty here and this is beautiful. And I'm like, <sighs> wistfully looking at his pictures of greenery while I'm surrounded by brown. Anyway, that's, that's a different topic entirely, but... He had a good time and he learned a lot. On a flat brush, I've got the shade Up to Snow Good. This is a purpley reddish shimmer. I have not used it yet and I've sprayed it. So now I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna start on the center of my lid. I'm not sure how dark it's gonna be on the skin. Sometimes it transfers a, diff a little differently between palette and skin, but this is looking just as I expected. So I'm gonna leave the inner third clean, I think, and bring a different shade into that spot. And now for the inner part of the lid, I can't decide if I want to do Ski In, which is a light golden ivory kind of shimmer, or the shade Powder Specialist, which is a pinky white kind of shimmer. It's more, it's white, but it has more pink in it. But I also sort of want to play with the Ski Bum shade. Oh, you know what? Ski Bum is a blue shimmer, but it has a lot of purple and pink in it. And I think, I think it'll just make this look a bit more interesting and less predictable. So I'm going to take this same brush and go into Ski Bum and then I'll spray. So I'm going to place this on the inner corner. And merge it in with that purpley shimmer, which is going to make the pink in the Ski Bum shade really stand out. And I'm also going to use it on my lower lash line and as an inner corner highlight. I don't know if it's, I don't think it's light enough for an inner corner highlight, but that's all right. I'll fix that later. I'm going to take Ski Bum and drag it on my lower lash line. Ooh, this is really pulling out the purples. Oh, wow. This shade is so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> It's very blue and very pink and very purple all at the same time. Super pretty. I'm carrying that on, as you can see, it's just so pretty, I wanna take over everything. I'm putting it on two thirds of my lower lash line and making sure it's blended in nicely over here because once I saw that shade without the shimmery purple next to it, it just sort of captured my heart and took over. So let me not neglect this area. And I'll take a smudger brush into the shade Snowmad dark blue matte, and I'll put that on my outer corner. Yep, that's nice. That is fun. Fun and pretty and pretty and fun. The Snowmad shade is so pigmented and deep that it, it actually stands out against all of the shadows I have in my outer corner. So I definitely just almost inadvertently did a reverse cat eye where I took my smudger brush and I just winged it out from the lower lash line corner. So I think I'll leave that as is. And that's fine. I'll probably take my liner and outline that a little bit. But now I'll take Powder Specialist on a much smaller blending or flat brush and tuck that into my inner corner. Again, this is pulling out a lot of the pink tones of that multi-chrome ski bum. I would love um, a white matte inner corner, but this isn't bad. I really would like a white matte. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll grab a white matte from another palette and just tap it on top. Grabbing the shade Atmosphere from the Dark Fantasy palette, I'm just going to use the same brush. I know that I have an excellent white matte in my Mimosa palette from BH Cosmetics, so I'm giving this one a chance to see how it works, because that would have been the one that I grabbed if I didn't have this palette, and I just want to see how this one compares. I feel like it's still missing something. I'm not, I'm not sure what. I think it's missing some brightness on the lid space. I think I'm gonna take my finger and grab the shade Ski In. This is that golden ivory shimmer and put it right at the center of my lid. If you put a, yeah, that's better. 
If you put a dab of glimmer right on the apex of the curve of your eyeball, it's gonna catch the light no matter which way you look. It's gonna just be a little pop of, oh, surprise, a bit of brightness. And that's what I'm trying to do here. I don't necessarily wanna add the color in, you know? I'm actually, I put it on my finger and now I'm just gently, I wiped off my finger. So now I'm just sort of blending it into the shadows around, wiping off my finger again, blending it a little more. The goal is not to conceal the shimmers that I already laid down and make the eye look look different. I don't want to hide the colors I've placed. I just want to brighten a little bit. And I think that does the trick. I'm going to go off camera, catch up the other side, do my liner, and then I'll be back to finish this video. Here's the eye look all done. I put light blue in my outer waterline and then I put white in my inner waterline. I'll link these down below for you. I've got a little bit of winged eyeliner and like I planned, I just did the wing to accentuate that reverse cat eye and then I did the inner flick. And on my lips, I'm wearing a shade from NYX Butter Gloss. This is the color bit of honey and i wanted to tell you guys i got a blush palette so i actually wanted to talk about a baby shower that some friends threw for me over the weekend right before i got sick fortunately while i talk about this blush palette this was okay a friend convinced me to get this all the blushes i have i think were given to me like if i ordered something they were given to me by the brand or by the seller or they just ended up in my collection i don't know how i don't think i've ever bought a blush but I have three or four. Anyway, this I actually bought. This is from Tarte and it is called the Precious Gems Amazonian Clay Cheek Palette. It's got five blushes and then this is a highlighter. These four are matte and this one has a little bit of sparkle in it and then the highlighter obviously has a bit of sparkle as well. But my friend was, she convinced me to buy it. This is, Alicia, this is your fault. <laughs> she convinced me to buy it and I thought I would put this on today because I played with it one time when I was still pretty under the weather and I was really pale and Alicia's like, it's here, you have to try it. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> but I'm so like, I looked like a zombie. It was terrible. And then I put blush on and I think it was probably a, a good thing for my cheeks to add a little bit of color when I was sick. But anyway, I don't know much about blush. I did put on a little bit of concealer under my eyes and a bit of face powder like I always do just to kind of even out my skin tone. I don't know much about blush. I, I don't really know much about even how to put it on properly, but I kind of want to go for this shade here today called gemstone i'm gonna link this palette down below because when i bought it it was on sale and i feel like i'm a little flushed still i don't know maybe it's just my house being warm but i'm taking this gemstone shade and putting it here but anyway the palette was on sale and it was i think including shipping or maybe it was free shipping it was less than 20 dollars. so i thought sure i'll treat myself get a little blush palette and if it is a duplicate to anything that i already have then I'll just get rid of those. There's only one shade that it's close to. It's close to the Luminoso from Milani. The shade I'm using today is kind of peach, but the Milani shade is a bit more peach. Anyway, here is the Tarte Blush Palette. But let me tell you guys about a baby shower that was thrown for me over the weekend. The women from church put together a baby shower and it was so sweet and thoughtful. And then the woman organizing it was like, hey, do you have other friends that you'd like to invite? So we ended up inviting a couple friends from a previous church, an old neighbor, and the shower was on Saturday and it was so beautiful. It was just lovely to get together with all these sweet women. And we had goodies. They had like a chocolate fondue fountain with fruit and cakes and stuff. And we sat around and we, we talked for a bit and then they prayed for me. And then when I was opening the gifts, of course there were the diapers and the gender neutral clothes because we don't know the gender of the baby. And then it turns out that they had all pitched in together and bought us a whole car seat, which was such a blessing because that was one of the biggest expenses. I mean, it's not a huge expense, but it's kind of a bigger expense, you know, buying the full car seat. So they bought us a car seat and they also pitched in and contributed monetarily towards our midwife expenses, which again, just this beautiful blessing. Can you guys see this color? I can see it. I don't like to put on so much blush that it's really, really visible. I just like a tiny hint. So for me, this is enough. I don't know if you can see it at all, but it's good enough for me. I'm gonna get my highlighter brush and dip into this shade called Park Ave Princess, which is the highlighter in the palette. And I'm just curious, I haven't tried this one at all. I'll put it right here. Anyway, this small group of women not only put out money to buy us gifts that were actually, you know, here are diapers, here are wipes, but they also put in additional money towards a car seat and paying our midwife. It was such a beautiful blessing. It was such a lovely day. And fortunately I wasn't sick at that time. So that was good. And then we came home with all of these treats. We came home with all the goodies from the party. Angel food cake and pretzels and fruit and dipping chocolate, which had been melted and is now probably hard, but I can remelt it, right? Cake and cookies, all kinds of yummies. And that night I got sick. 
So I haven't been able to enjoy any of the treats from my own baby shower, <laughs> except when I was there. But since then, all the leftovers are just sitting on my counter and I'm like, man, I don't want all these delicious treats to go bad. So I haven't been able to enjoy any of them because I've been sick. And today I'm finally able to like have a meal and it's sitting well and I'm feeling good. And I'm, I'm thinking, hmm, maybe I could enjoy a couple of these treats today. Go easy. I know, I know, but I was just really bummed that I came home with all this delicious free food and then I couldn't eat any of it. Hey guys, so there you have it. That is my video. That is my look, my little catch up on what's been going on. I love this ski bum shade. Oh my word, I need to pair it with something like, I need to pair it with whites or light pinks or something. It's just so beautiful, Ugh, so pretty. I hope you have enjoyed this video and the eyeshadow look. Remember to like and subscribe before you leave and don't forget to hit the notification bell. I'll see you guys again really soon in my next video. And right now, I'm gonna go have a piece of cake. Bye.